the three biggest things in my mind that are the bright spots are, are talking about 100 gig deployments in the, in the networks, from going from being in the labs, being in trials, to actually starting to do deployments for, uh, for initial things, and, and how do you deal with those deployments versus what's already out there infrastructure-wise. So you already are, have 10 gig networks out there, putting in 100 gig now, you have all these other potential technical issues going on between cross-phase modulation, um, dispersion compensation, et cetera, and the impact those have on the new high bandwidth technology you're deploying. But those infrastructure things are important for the 10 gig networks I have today that are out there and, and my current amount of bandwidth that's out there. So you have that being a, a very, very big thing. Um, um, the second thing that, uh, that I think is, is pretty important is looking at this issue of Ethernet and Ethernet only infrastructure versus OTN. How important is OTN if I have an Ethernet only kind of a world, right? And how much the world really is all Ethernet versus being um, traditional TDM traffic, voice traffic, um, other video application or distributed timing centric traffic, and Ethernet traffic. So. So OTN essentially is the next generation hom homogenizer, if you will, of transport infrastructure. And guys that do Ethernet only are saying, I don't need OTN. Guys that are in the networks and have all these other services and all these legacy services all say, I have to have OTN. So that's another big thing going on today. It's a bright spot. And, and which is who's going to win and what's the right mix, if you will, between non-OTN versus OTN infrastructure, et cetera. Um, so that's about another big piece that's there. The third thing that's important um, to me actually is this issue on cloud implementations, right? Cloud infrastructures, the fact that enterprises are now moving more and more of their infrastructure into what's considered to be cloud networking. So what has traditionally been an IT infrastructure thing, so virtual desktop, things like that, people are now buying more and more of those things, storage, et cetera, from a third party, having it being located in a data center and accessing those through the network to the enterprise building.